Hey guys, it's Vera from Yoga Movement here. Today I'll be taking you through a one hour basics class. We'll be working on upper body strength, I'll be working on our lower body flexibility as well. Okay, so if you have two yoga blocks like this, you can go and grab them. Otherwise, just grab something sturdy like a, a shoe box or anything that you can place your hands on or to elevate the ground or you can sit on. Okay, so we will start in a comfortable seated position, cross-legged. If you find that you are rounding your spine like this and your knees are lifting above your hips, what I want you to do is grab a block or something sturdy that you can sit on and just sit on a block like this. Okay, join me sitting on uh, something sturdy to lift your hips up. You'll find a lot more space in your hips. You'll find a lot, of, a lot more space in your lower back. Okay, so once you have your knees underneath the hips, you're in a nice, comfortable position. Cross your legs, place your hands either on your knees or your thighs. Roll your shoulders back and down a few times. Make big circles with your shoulders. Okay, then once you're ready, drop the shoulders down and gently close your eyes. Just take a few moments here to slow down your breathing. And take a few moments to pause and choose to find stillness. Start to bring your awareness into your body. Move your awareness to your sit bones. Allow your sit bones to sink down into your mat or into your block. Maybe it's a subtle shift in your weight placement, maybe forward or back, or maybe sideways. Just find that space right in the middle and pause. Once you found the middle, allow your sit bones to sink down again. Allow your legs to be heavy. And as you inhale, allow your belly to expand. Allow your chest to rise. From your nose, take a slow exhalation out. Relax your shoulders. Allow the legs to be heavy. Deep inhale through your nose, allow your spine to lengthen. Allow the crown of your head to reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the hips to ground down. Empty out your lungs. Just one more breath like this. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Belly expand, chest expand, spine is long. And slow exhale, slowly empty out your lungs, breathe out through your nose, draw your belly in. So to find a comfortable pace of breathing, normal inhales and normal exhales. Keep your eyes closed, slowly bring your chin to your chest. We'll start with a few neck rotations. And slowly roll your head to the right side, make a big circle, draw your head all the way back. You can keep your eyes closed or if you want to open up your eyes, you can also open up your eyes. And keep going in the same direction, big circles. If you feel like you need to move your neck and move your shoulders as well, go ahead and move the shoulders, move your spine. And you don't need to feel, you don't need to stay perfectly still, just allow the body to move. You finish off this round and slowly change directions, go the other way, roll your head towards the left side, big circle. You really exaggerate the movement, so really find spaciousness in your body. Just two more rounds here as you roll the hip back, inhale. As you roll the hip forward, exhale. Just one more round, inhale, roll all the way back. Exhale, roll forward and down. So inhale, slowly come back to the center, make a big circle with your shoulders, roll your shoulders up towards your ears, draw your shoulders back and down, squeeze your shoulder blades in. Inhale, lift the shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades in. Really draw the shoulders back and down. Just one more round backwards. Inhale, lift up. Breathe in. Exhale, draw the shoulders back and down. Nice. Just three rounds forward. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, draw the shoulders forward and down. Same thing with the hand. Just relax your arms. Inhale, lift up. 
exhale forward and down just one last round inhale lift the shoulders up towards your ears exhale draw the shoulders down and away from your ears nice come back to the middle lengthen up just fine okay, on your next inhale reach your right arm up to the sky lift the chest lengthen the spine bend your right elbow and use your opposite hand to grab hold of your right elbow and lift your chin lift the chest create a lot of space in your front body okay, so make sure your chin is not collapsing down pull your head backwards you can either stay here or maybe lean towards the left side. Ground down to your right sit bone. Feel the stretch in your right side body. Okay, breathe into your shoulders. Breathe in your side body. And just take two more breaths here. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. If you want to close your eyes, feel free to close your eyes. Just one more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center and we just change that. Just do the same thing on the opposite side. Lift the chest when you inhale, lengthen away from your hips. Exhale, maybe lean towards the opposite side. Breathe down into your left side body. Feel the stretch on from the left hip all the way up to your left ribs and your left shoulders. So today we will be working a lot on the upper body strength. Okay, so at any point of time, if you feel like you need to rest, please feel free to rest. We will have regular breaks in between. But in between the breaks, if you want to rest, please feel free to pause at your own pace. Okay, once you're ready, inhale, come back to the center. Release your hands. Place your hands down onto your knees. At this time, bring the right hand under and left arm on top. We cross as much as you can. You can either grab hold onto opposite shoulders. This is your first option. Second option, bring the back of the palms together. Third option, bring your palms together to touch. This is your eagle arms. You take a deep inhale, lift your elbows away from your chest. On your exhale, pull your hands away from your face. So plenty of space in the side. Okay, create space, draw the shoulders down and away from your ears. Pull your hands as high up as you can. You can either stay here, feel free to stay if this feels like a super good stretch for you at this point, or if you want to go a little bit more round your spine and bring your fingertips down towards the ground just in front of you. Just find space in your back. Maybe your fingertips can touch the ground, maybe your fingers are hovering off the ground. It doesn't matter as long as you feel the stretch in your shoulders. Just one more breath here, deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. Feel free to breathe as loud as you like. Okay, inhale, lift the elbows high, lift the hands up towards the sky. Good, exhale, release your hands. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Bring your palms to touch your chin sides. Exhale, bring the left arm under, right arm on top. You can either grab hold onto opposite shoulders, like you're hugging yourself, or you can bring the back of your hands together. Maybe if you have space in your arms, you can bring the palms together to touch as well. Okay, once you're ready, inhale, lift the elbows super high, pull your hands away from your face, create space in your shoulders and your neck. Okay, again, plenty of space in the side of your body, in the side of your, in your upper arms and your face, between your face and your arms. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine, draw the belly in, reach and bring the fingertips towards the ground. Okay, maybe you watch your fingers touch the ground, maybe just hover off. This evening doesn't matter as long as you feel good in the shoulders. And you really feel the stretch in your arms. Root down through your sit bones. Just one more breath together. Deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. Maybe go a little bit deeper. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Exhale, release your hands. Let's twist towards the right side. Place your left hand on the outside of your right thigh, right hand behind you onto the ground. Okay, so if you find that you cannot reach the ground, just remove the block and sit all the way down. Okay, place the right hand behind. Take a deep inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, roll the right shoulder back and twist. Try to look over the right shoulder so you get a full twist in your spine. Keep the spine long, keep the chest lifted. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Just one more deep inhale through your nose. Maybe roll the right shoulder a little further back as you exhale. Slowly come back to the center. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, lengthen, create space in the sides of your waist. Exhale, twist towards the left. Right hand outside of your left thigh. Left hand goes behind you at the base of your spine. You take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen, lift away from your hips. Exhale, use your right hand to pull. Push down to the left hand, then maybe look over the left shoulder towards the back of your space. And relax your legs, so try to release any tension in your legs. Just one more breath, deep inhale, and slow exhale. 
Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Good. Place your hands in front of you. Interlace all ten fingers. Draw the belly in and push your hands as far away from you as you can. Tap your chin towards your chest so you're looking down towards your belly. Keep drawing the shoulders away from your ears. Just one breath here. Inhale. Exhale to empty out the lungs completely. Keep stretching your back. On your next inhale, lift the chest, look up, push your hands up towards the sky. As your palm faces the ceiling, push your hands as high up as you can. If your neck feels okay, start to lift your chin and look up towards your thumbs. Just one breath here, inhale. And slow exhale. Take one more inhale, deep inhale through your nose. On your exhale, round the spine again. So push your hands forward, palms facing you, draw the belly in, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, flip the palms, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Lift your chest, look up. We repeat this one last time. Exhale, round the spine. So push the hands away from you, draw the belly in, stretch your back. Inhale, push your hands up and over your head. Maybe lift your chin, look up towards your thumbs. Good, slowly look forward, release your arms. Okay, this time, stretch your arms to the sides. So we'll start with wrist stretches. We'll be on our hands quite a bit. So bring the thumbs down, thumbs together, and then bring the, bring the thumbs down and then the fingers down on top of the thumbs. Okay, reach your arms to the sides. Take up as much space as you like. Straighten up your elbows and make big circles with your wrists. So super big circles with your wrists. This should feel really, really good, especially if you're working on your computer a lot. Maybe well, the wrists will start to feel a lot uh, more relaxed by rolling out the wrists. Okay, let's change directions, go the other way. Try your best to keep your elbows straight. So try not to bend your elbows like this. So the more you straighten the elbows, the more stretch you will feel in your forearms. Okay, just one more round. Good, slowly just release. Spread the fingers. Nice, roll yourself forward into all fours, hands and knees. Okay, so if you take a moment to look at my hands, you want to spread the fingers as wide as you can. Your index fingers should be parallel to each other. And then spread the fingers as wide as you can. So really open up the palms. Root down through your fingers. Draw the belly in. Okay, so your knees should be directly underneath the hips. So not too close, not too far. So just directly underneath the hips. For today, let's tuck the toes under. So you have a bit more stability in the legs. Draw the lower belly in. Push down into your hands. Keep the belly tight. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. Oops, you have a block that is in your way. Just push it away. And press the right foot down, reach your right heel down towards the ground. So you're really stretching out the calf and the back of the ankle. And so some of you might feel like you can go a little bit deeper in the stretch. You can always lift the left knee just a little bit off the ground and push down into your hands, put more weight into your right leg. Breathe into your right hamstrings and the right calf. And make sure that your right toes are pointing directly forward so it shouldn't be turning out. If it's turning out, you kind of lose that stretch. Okay, so make sure it's pointing directly forward. Press down into your right heel, push down into your hands, just one more breath, inhale. On your exhale, slowly lower the left knee down onto the ground, transfer the weight into your hands, slowly float the right foot off the ground. Try not to move the hips so the hips stay leveled, roll the right hip down, draw the belly in. Option one, stay here. Option two, transfer your weight to your right hand, reach your left arm towards the front of your space. Feel free to stay or if you want even more, bend your right knee towards your bum, reach your left arm back, use your left hand to grab hold onto your right foot behind you. Roll the left shoulder back, you can kick the right foot against your hand and lift the chest. Push down into your right hand and if you feel comfortable in the neck, you can lift the chin away from the chest and look up towards the ceiling. Just one more breath here, breathe into your front body, inhale deeply. Good, exhale, slowly release both hands, release both knees down onto the ground. Very nice, we change sides. Okay, step the left foot towards the back of your mat. Same thing here, take a moment to look down to your foot. Make sure the foot is not turning out. Turn the foot directly forward. Okay, press the heel down towards the ground. Option one, to stay, draw the belly in. Option two, transfer your weight into your left leg more. Slowly fold the right foot, right knee off the ground. Okay, really press down into your left ankle. So if you have been running in the parks, this should feel pretty good. Okay, if you run in the cycle, or even just sitting around, this should feel pretty good in the ankles and the calves. You really press down into your hands, make sure your belly is not collapsing down like this. Draw the lower belly in, so your spine is supported. You press down into your hands, just one more breath, deep inhale. Good, exhale, slowly lower the right knee down onto the ground. Transfer your weight into your hands. Slowly float the left foot off the ground. 
Okay, again, belly doesn't collapse in. Stay strong in your core. Okay, so your core muscles are everything around your torso, the front, the side, the back. Okay, so just draw all those muscles in towards your spine. Okay, transfer your weight to your left hand. If it feels comfortable for you and you can balance, reach your right arm towards the front of your space. If you want a little bit more, feel free to bend your left knee. To bend your left knee, bring your heel to your bum, reach your right arm behind you, and see if you can grab hold onto your foot. And once you have hold, held on to your foot, roll the right shoulder back, kick the left foot against your right hand. Lift the chest, lift your chin. Find one non-moving spot in front of you, focus your gaze at that point. And press down into your left hand, keep the chest lifted, hold for three. Remember to breathe, breathe in and out through your nose for two. One more breath, inhale, if you're shaking, that's okay. One more inhale, breathe in. Exhale, slowly lower both hands, lower both knees down onto the ground. Good job. Around the spine, draw the belly in, push down into your hands. Press into your fingertips, feel the stretch along your spine. If you feel like moving the hips from side to side, move the shoulders from side to side, go ahead and do that as well. And breathe in, inhale, lift the chest, arch your back, look up, keep the hips high, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Keep the hips above your knees and slowly walk your hands towards the front of your space. If your neck feels okay, melt your chest, melt your chin down towards the ground. Otherwise, rest your forehead on the mat. Okay, so this should feel pretty good in your shoulders. This is one of my favorite stretches. Feels super, super good in my shoulders and my upper back. Okay, if you start to feel it in the lower back, just draw the lower belly in more. Create more support for your spine. Keep melting your heart down towards the ground. Take one breath. Deep inhale. And slow exhale. Good. Slowly relax your toes and slide yourself all the way down onto your belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Point your toes back. Press down into your feet. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift your chin, cobra. Draw the abdominal muscles in. So especially when you're in a back bend, you really need to engage your core muscles. So draw the belly in. Exhale, twist towards the right side. Pull the right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, and gaze over the right shoulder. And see if you can look at your left big toe. And once you are there, inhale, come back to the center. We change sides. Exhale, draw the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Gaze over the left shoulder, and try to find your right big toe. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Take a deep inhale here. Maybe straighten up the elbows. Lift the chest a little bit more. Go a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower yourselves all the way down onto the ground. Good. Press down into your palms, lift the hips, push back and sit back to child's pose. Sink your hips all the way down, walk your arms forward, rest your elbows down, rest your forehead down onto the ground. We will take a minute here to rest. If you want to walk around, towel down, wipe down your sweat, take a sip of water, go ahead. I will see you in one minute. in all fours, so from child's pose, just lift the hips up again. Okay, so from all fours, spread the fingers, tuck your toes, draw the belly in, lift your knees off the ground and slowly walk your feet all the way forward to the front of the mat. Just find a way to stand onto your feet, so less weight on the hands, more weight in your feet. Okay, look at your feet, your toes should be pointing directly forward, your feet are parallel to each other. Maybe bend your knees slightly so you can easily touch the ground. Okay, bring your belly towards your thighs and hang your head. 
They realize that once you bend your knees, you can easily touch the ground, no matter how flexible or not flexible you think you are. Okay, so just bend the knees, hang the head, relax your neck. Option one, grab hold onto opposite elbows. Option two, you can bring your hands behind your lower back, then reach your arms up and over your head. At any point of time, if you start to feel dizzy, just slowly come out of the pose and go into a squat instead. Okay, but if you feel comfortable here, you can bend one knee at a time, stretch out the hamstrings, stretch out the shoulders, stretch out the back of your legs. Just one more deep inhale here. As you exhale, no matter where you are, release your hands all the way down to the ground. Hang your head, your head comes up last. Slowly roll yourselves all the way up in three. Remember to keep breathing in two. Good. Once you are up, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Interlace all ten fingers, shoot the index fingers up towards the ceiling. Bring your feet together, heels and toes touch. Squeeze your biceps in towards your ears. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lean towards your right side. Push your hips towards the left side of your space. You should feel like a nice deep stretch in the left side of your waist. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Exhale, lean towards the left side. Push your hips towards the right. And maybe this side feels a little bit different. Just be mindful of the difference that you feel. That's okay. All of us are a little bit asymmetrical on both sides. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. If you have any back issues, place your hands behind your lower back with me. Otherwise, just keep your arms up. You squeeze your elbows in, push your hips forward, lift the chest, and just lean back. Go for a nice, gentle back bend. We always move forward. We always um, go forward. We're using our computers, but we very often don't bend backwards. Okay, so just be mindful of how you are feeling. Squeeze your elbows in. Create space in your front body. Take one more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Separate your feet about mat distance apart, so as wide as your mat. Turn your toes up 45 degrees, slowly come down into a squat. And so take your time, you can place your fingertips down to the ground and just sway your legs from side to side, sway your hips from side to side. Create some space in your hips and your legs. And once you're ready, just pause in the middle. Slide your right hand down towards the right side of your mat. Place your right elbow, right shoulder on the inside of your right knee. Reach your left arm up to the sky, twist towards the left side. Keep the chest open, so the first most important thing is to create space in your front body. So keep rolling the left shoulder back. At any point, if this doesn't feel good, you can just grab a block or a boss or a, boss or a towel and sit on it, like this. Otherwise, just stay. Your first option is to stay with your hands apart. Second option, wrap the left arm behind your lower back like this. You can tuck the left hand to the inside of your right uh, thigh as well, if this feels good. Last option, of course, you can wrap the right arm in front of your shin into a full bind. Release the left hand and use your right hand, grab hold onto your left wrist. Roll the left shoulder back. Use your right hand to pull, so you really allow the left shoulder to roll back. Just one more breath here, deep inhale and slow exhale good slowly release your hands bring your hands back to your heart center take a breath here inhale and slow exhale good slide the left shoulder down your left knee make sure the left shoulder is on the inside of your knee place the left hand down reach your right arm up to the sky to twist open up the chest and so keep the front body super open you should be able to breathe quite easily at any point of time, if you feel any pain in your legs, in your hips, just grab something and sit on it, okay? Either stay here or wrap the right arm behind your lower back. Same thing on this side. You can tuck the left fingers to your, right, uh, to your left inner thigh or you can wrap the left arm in front of your left shin and use the bottom hand to hold the top wrist. But once you're holding onto the top wrist, pull and roll the, left the right shoulder back. And maybe look over the right shoulder, look towards the ceiling, breathe in and out through your nose. Take just one more breath, inhale, and slow exhale. Good, slowly release your hands, bring your hands back to your heart center, take a deep inhale through your nose, and slow exhalation out. Good, slowly remove the block, place your hands down in front of you, lift the hips, and just step back into downward facing dog. So right leg back, left leg back, inverted V shape, feel free to bend your knees, push your hips as far back as you can. Okay, only if your hamstrings are feeling pretty open and reach your heels down towards the ground. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Just keep your knees bent. It's perfectly fine. Okay, push your chest as far back as you can. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. 
but keep your abdominal muscles tight by drawing the lower belly in. Once you are ready and comfortable in your down dog, take a deep inhale, lift the heels super high. Exhale, roll forward, come into high plank. Shoulders right above your wrists, heels right above your toes. Squeeze your thighs towards the midline, squeeze your glutes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, lower your knees down onto the ground very lightly. Inhale, lift the chest, arch your back, look up, cow pose. Shift your whole entire body forward. Don't let the hips drop down. Wrap the elbows in. Slowly bend your elbows and lower the chest in between your palms. You see your hips are still high. Keep tucking the toes under. Draw the shoulders in. Draw the shoulder blades in. Draw the elbows in. Draw the belly in. Push down into your hands. Root down through your feet. We're coming back up the same way again. Okay, so press down into your hands. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, push straight back up half plank. So draw the belly in, keep the core muscles tight. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift the chest, arch your back, look up. Keep the whole body lifted. Shift the shoulders forward. Keep the hips high. Slowly bend your elbows and lower your chest in between your palms with control. Good. Wrap the elbows in, tap the toes, draw the belly in. Push down into your hands, push back up. Inhale to plank. Nice. Lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose and slow exhalation up. Inhale, roll forward, high plank, shoulders right above your wrist. We're going to repeat that. I'll give you a different option this time. Okay, squeeze your thighs, lower your knees down onto the ground. Draw the lower belly in. So this time, instead of arching the back, round the spine and sit. Tilt the tailbone down, draw the belly in. Shift the shoulders forward. Don't let the shoulders drop below the elbows. So wrap the elbows, shift forward, bend your elbows, maybe just a little bit, one inch, or maybe 90 degrees. Don't go below that. Push down into your hands and feet. Inhale, press back up to support a plank. Now, just one more round like this. Draw the belly in, shift forward, wrap the elbows in, bend the elbows, maybe one inch, maybe 90 degrees. Hold here, breathe. Press down into your hands. Inhale, push back up to plank. Nice. Lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a slow exhalation out. Good. Inhale, lift the heels high. Slowly walk your feet all the way forward to the front of your mat. Separate the feet about hip distance apart. Hang your head. Stretch your hamstrings. Place your fingertips either on your shins for an easy option or fingertips on the ground for a more challenging variation. Inhale, lift the chest. Halfway lift. Flatten your back. Lengthen the spine. Push the hips back. More weight on the balls of your feet. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold all the way down. Reach the crown of your head towards the ground. Hang your head. Root down into your feet. Micro bend your knees. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Lift your chest. Look up, palms together. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. Good. And transfer your weight onto your left leg. Float the right foot off the ground. Okay, so root down strongly into your left foot. Lift the chest. Focus your eyes at one point in front of you. So try not to look all over the place. You don't need to look at me. Just find one spot in front of you and focus your gaze there. Okay, open the right knee towards the right side. Lift the chest. And then use your right hand to see if you can grab hold onto your right ankle and place your right foot on your left inner thigh like this. If this doesn't feel good or you start to fall out of the pose, just lower the foot down onto your calf or lower the right foot down onto your left ankle so your toes are still on the ground. Okay, so three options for you. Find the one that feels the best for you today. Find the one that you can balance in easily. Okay, either stay here with your hands to your heart center or if you're super comfortable here, it's easy to balance and slowly extend your arms up to the sky. Try your best to keep the shoulders relaxed. Push the right foot against the left leg, left leg against the right foot. Okay, take one more breath, deep inhale. Keep your arms super high. Pull your right knee towards the right shoulder as you exhale. Good. Step the right foot, big step out. So all the way to the back of your mat. Reach your arms to the sides. Take some time to find the distance between your feet. And so if you reach your arms to the sides, your feet are roughly underneath your hands. Okay, then slowly bend your left knee, the front knee, sink your hips down. Root down into your feet, sink the hips, ground down into your legs. Reach your arms to the sides, gaze towards the left thumb. Make sure the front knee is not collapsing in. So if the front knee is collapsing in, you'll look like this. 
Okay, so pull the front knee out so your front knee is pointing directly forward. Press down into the outer edges of the back foot. Just take one more breath here. Inhale. Good. Exhale, place your left elbow onto the left thigh. Reach your right arm up to the sky. So we have a few options here for you. The first option, just stay right here. That's perfectly fine. But remember the bind that we did. We do the same thing on this side. Wrap the right arm behind you. Maybe use your right hand to find your left inner thigh. Okay, roll the right shoulder back, lift the chest. This is your first option. Second option, you can slide the left arm underneath the left thigh and see if you can release the right hand and use the bottom hand to hold the top wrist. Push your hips forward, allow the right shoulder to roll open and maybe look up towards the ceiling. Take one more breath here, bend down into your front knee, deep inhale and slow exhale. Good. With the same control, slowly release your hands. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up, straighten up the front leg. Some of us might feel more comfortable inching the back foot slightly further forward. So see how you feel in your legs and then you adjust. Okay, reach your arms to the sides, keep both legs straight and strong. Push the back hip towards the back of your space and reach your left arm as far forward as you can. So you're like you're sliding against a wall behind you. You reach the left hand as far forward as you can. Once you are there at your maximum, place the left fingertips down onto your left shin. Reach your right arm up to the sky. And not all of us will go so low. Some of us will maybe be on the, just above the knee or below the knee. That's fine as well. And just find a comfortable space where you are spacious in your body. Okay, some of us will go all the way down to the ground. Okay, so it uh, depends on how your body is built today. We will find the most comfortable space for ourselves. Reach right arm up to the sky. Just take one more breath here. Breathe into your left hamstrings. And slow exhalation out. Good. Root down into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Good. Turn all ten toes towards the long side of your mat. Root down into your feet. Take a deep inhale. Lift the chest. Lengthen. Exhale. Hinge from the hips. Fall all the way down. Bring the fingertips down to touch the ground. Take a deep inhale. Lift the chest. Lengthen. Create more space. Exhale. Walk your hands towards the middle of your feet. And maybe you can reach the crown of your head onto the ground. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and press down into your big toes. Transfer more weight onto your toes, less weight on your heels. And keep the abdominal muscles tight. If you find it very intense, you can always place your hands on your shins like this. Okay, or some of us might feel comfortable with the feet slightly further apart. So just find a comfortable space for yourself and you still feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Let's just take one more breath together, deep inhale. And slow exhale. And no matter where you are, inhale, lift the chest, look slightly forward. And walk your hands all the way towards your left foot, so towards the front of the mat. Turn your left toes out 45 degrees and slowly sink your hips all the way down. And you will need to adjust your back foot as well. So shift the back foot one step forward, pivot on your heel and lift the toes off the ground. So this will feel pretty comfortable. Sink your hips down, bring your hands to your heart center. You can use your left arm to push against the left knee, roll the right shoulder open and go for a nice little twist. And so this, this looks pretty similar to what we did at the start of our practice. Okay, just that now we have one leg straight. You can either stay here or maybe split your arms. Maybe go for a half bind or full bind. I think by now you're pretty comfortable with that already. Roll the right shoulder back. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into your shoulders. Just one more breath. Inhale. Good. Slowly release your hands. Exhale. Place your hands down onto the ground. Now open up the fingers wide. Walk your hands a step forward from your feet. Then find your left knee and your left triceps. So your triceps is just behind your upper arm. Lift the left heel. So you're rolling forward and lifting the bottom heel, the left heel off the ground. Plant your hands down. Maybe just one step in front of your mat. Bring your left knee to touch your left tricep. So once you're here, spread your fingers. This is going to be fun. Lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. Press the back toes down. And see if you can float the left heel off the ground. I think you can kind of see my left heel floating off. Press down into your hands like a chaturanga, like your uh, push-up. Float the left toes off the ground, press down into your fingers. Take one more breath here, inhale. And exhale slowly, just lower yourself so all the way down. Nice, good job. Okay, turn towards the front of your mat, so pivot on the back toes. Slowly lower the back knee down onto the ground. Walk your hands back, straighten up the left leg. Pull the left toes towards your face. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands as far forward as you can. Try to melt your belly onto your thighs. 
first option, feel free to stay here. For those of us who feel pretty comfortable here, you have the option of sliding all the way down into a full split. Okay, if you're looking at your screen and it looks like a joke to you, just like maybe don't do it, just stay with the half split. And roll the right hip down, lift the chest, press down into your fingers. And no matter where you are, just keep the hip square, keep pushing the right hip forward, left hip back. Okay, if you're in a full split, keep the chest lifted. If you're in a half split, just find as much space as you can. Okay, if placing the hands down onto the ground is not available, you can sit back onto your heels as well. And no matter where you are, take one more breath here, deep inhale, and slow exhale. Good, bend your front knee, walk your hands all the way forward, step to the front of your mat, forward fold, relax your neck. Take a halfway lift, inhale, flat back, fingertips either on the shins or the mat. Exhale, fold all the way down, reach your crown of your head towards the mat. Root down into your feet, inhale, rise all the way up, reach your arms up to the sky, lift the chest, maybe go for a small gentle back bend, look up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, take a deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. We will just finish off the left side and then we take a break, okay? Luckily, you only have two sides. Transfer your weight to your right foot, float the left foot off the ground. If you have like eight legs, you have to do eight times, but we only have two, so we just do twice. And open the left knee towards the left side. You can either place your foot down onto your ankle, your calf, or all the way up onto your thigh. Okay, same as the first round. Maybe hands to your heart center. Push your left foot against the right leg, right leg against the left foot. Okay, find ease in the pose. So if you find yourself toppling out, don't get frustrated, just come back and do it again. Okay, maybe lower the foot down, that's fine. Okay, either stay here, or if you're very comfortable, reach your arms up to the sky. And try to find a non-moving spot in front of you, focus your gaze at that point. Breathe, take just one more breath, deep inhale. Keep rooting down through the right foot, slow exhale. And slowly bring your left knee towards your left shoulder. Good. Step the left foot, big step out. So super big step. Inch your left foot super far back. Okay, so again, feet roughly underneath the hands. Sink your hips down. Front knee not collapsing in. Pull the knee out. Squeeze your glutes. Reach your arms to the sides. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Press down into your back foot. And once your lower body is set up, then we move to upper body. Okay, place your right forearm on the right thigh. You can reach your left arm up to the sky. Okay, maybe stay here or wrap the left arm behind your lower back into a half bind. Maybe your left fingers can find your right inner thigh. Okay, then if you did it on the first side, we go for a half bind, a full bind on this side as well. Bring the right arm underneath the right thigh and maybe use the right hand to hold the left wrist and pull. If your neck feels okay, look up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, just look forward or you can even look down to the ground. Okay, see which one feels the best for you. Make sure the back leg is not going limb, so press down the back foot, back leg straight and strong. Just one more breath, inhale. Good, exhale, slowly release your hands, inhale, rise all the way up, straighten up the front knee. Maybe take a small step forward with the back foot, turn the back toes in. And push your hips towards the back of your space, reach your right arm as far forward as you can. Slide along the imaginary wall, then slowly place your right hand down, maybe reach the left arm up to the sky, roll the left shoulder back. Okay, again, you don't need to go so low. You can stay on your shin. You can go lower if you can, if it's available to you. Otherwise, don't force it. It shouldn't be painful. It should feel ni like a nice morning stretch. If it feels anything... Oh, no, it's, it's an afternoon stretch. It should feel like a nice afternoon stretch. If it feels anything like pain, you should be backing off from the pose. Okay, take one more breath. Deep inhale. And slow exhale. Good. press down into your feet, inhale, slowly rise all the way up. Turn all ten toes in so your feet are parallel to each other. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, fold all the way down. Reach the crown of your head onto the mat. If your head is easily touching the ground like this, like what I'm doing, just bring your feet closer in towards each other. You will feel more stretch in your hamstrings. Okay, place your palms in between your feet. Okay. If this feels very intense, same as earlier, just come up onto your shin. Okay, just find a comfortable spot for yourself. You should feel really spacious in the front body. You should feel like a nice stretch in the back body. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Take just one more breath here. Breathe into your hamstrings. Inhale. And slow exhale. 
Good. Walk your hands one step forward. Inhale, lift the chest. You're going to go towards the front of the mat. So turn the right toes out 45 degrees. Bend your right knee. Walk your hands to the right foot. And then pivot on the back heel. Lift the back toes. Take one small step forward with the left foot. Then slowly sink your hips down towards the right heel. Use your right arm to push against the right knee. Face the right hand down. Left arm up to the sky. Then you know your binding options. Maybe you can wrap the right arm behind you. Maybe you can wrap the right arm in front of the shin as well. Go for a full bind. And roll the left shoulder back. Breathe in through the front body. Look up towards the sky. So you should be feeling the stretch in your shoulders. Feel the stretch in your hips and your hamstrings. Take one more breath. Inhale. So slowly exhale, release your hands, turn towards the front of the mat, plant your palms down, pivot on the back foot, lift the back heel off the ground. Lower the back knee down, walk your hands back and straighten up the right leg. Pull the right toes towards your face. Again, you can sit all the way down if this feels quite intense for you. Okay, if it's very easy for you, slide the right foot further forward. Maybe stay here, square the hips, pull the right hip back. Left hip forward, maybe you can sit all the way down onto the ground into your full split. Okay, full split people, just lift the chest, press down into your hands, create space in the front body. If you're in a half split or you're sitting back onto your heels, feel the stretch in your right hamstrings. Okay, again, there should not be any pain, it should feel like a nice stretch. Okay, some of you might be laughing at that, okay, but never mind, we will find a comfortable space for ourselves. Okay, breathe into your right hamstrings just one more time, deep inhale. And slow exhale. Nice. Slowly bend your right knee. Walk your hands forward. Lift the back heel and step to the front of your neck. Forward fold. Take a halfway lift. Inhale, flat back, chest forward. Exhale, place your hands down onto the ground. Or lower down onto the knees. Right knee, left knee. Let's take a small break here. Sit back onto your heels. Take a sip of water. Tower down. Or just take child's pose. I will see you in one minute. Welcome back. No matter where you are, let's meet up in a seated position. Okay, we're not going to rest yet. We are moving towards our uh, balance. Okay, so uh, let's sit down onto the mat. Point your toes. Lean back. Squeeze your knees and lift the chest. Easy option. Keep the feet down onto the ground. It's perfectly fine. You can use your hands to support you as well. Okay, if you want a little bit more challenge, float the feet off the ground. This is boat pose. Okay, if you want even more, reach your arms forward. Okay, of course, for those of you super familiar with this, you can straighten up your knees as well. Otherwise, just keep your knees bent. Okay, squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Then we'll go step by step. Find your toes. Keep your toes together. Open up the knees. So you make a nice diamond with your legs. Keep the toes pointed. Reach your arms forward. Extend your wrists. Open up the palms. Okay, so push your hands forward like you're pushing against a wall in front of you. Find your knees. Bring your knees to your triceps knees in to touch the triceps, squeeze your knees in. Okay, so remember this feeling, push your hands as far forward as you can, try to squeeze your knees in as close to your armpits as you can. Keep pointing the toes. Breathe for three, for two, keep the shoulders relaxed. Nice, slowly inhale, lengthen the legs, lean back, keep your lower back on the ground, but shoulder blades off the mat. Point your toes, squeeze your thighs, keep pushing your hands forward, hold for three. Breathe for two, don't drop the legs, one more breath, inhale. Good, exhale, lower down, bring your knees into your chest, nice. 
and grab hold onto the back of your thighs and rock yourself back and forth a few times. And try to gain some momentum, use some strength in your legs to rock yourself up. And next, rock, press down into your feet, lift the hips up, reach your arms up, bend your knees. Okay, if you find a, if you cannot come up without the hand, just use your hands. Just find a way to come up. Okay, pull your knees back, bend your knees into chair pose. Draw the belly in, keep the chest lifted. Okay, your chair should be so steady that you would buy the chair. So if you are not gonna buy the chair, you need to squeeze the thighs in more. Keep the chest lifted, extend your arms up to the sky, just sink your hips down a little bit more. Take one more breath, inhale. Good, exhale, place your fingertips down onto the ground, toe heel your feet out as wide as a mat, turn your toes out and sink your hips towards the ground. And bring your hands to your heart center, lift the chest. So we're back here in the squat, we'll add on from the squat. And wrap the knees outside of your triceps and try to walk your arms as low as you can. And place your hands down onto the ground, spread your fingers. And for the first round, we'll walk your hands as far forward as you can. Pull your knees as far out as you can. So you really open up the knees and walk your hands forward like a frog. Okay? Then maybe lower the elbows down onto the ground. Some of us will be able to easily touch the elbows down. Some of us will not. So if you cannot touch your elbows down, don't worry about it. Just walk your hands as far forward as you can. I have something else for you later. Okay? If you can place the elbows down onto the ground, try this. Lift the hips. Bring your knees behind your upper arms, as close to the armpits as you can. Lean forward into your hands, push down into your fingertips. Bring your face super close to your mat, as if you're going to kiss the mat. Okay, then maybe eventually you can walk the feet slightly back, maybe on your big toes. Maybe you can put one foot up, change leg. Maybe you can put both feet off the ground. Keep pressing down into your arms. Keep looking forward, breathe for three, for two. And one, slowly lower the feet down onto the ground. Nice, slowly come back into your squat. You bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. The second one, we will be on the hands. Okay, so just watch first. I'll show you once and then I'll give you some time to do it later. And spread the fingers wide. Remember those push-ups that we did? It's the same thing. So you open up the fingers, shoulder distance apart. Turn the toes forward, lift the heels. Okay, now once you are here, lift the hips up. The easier option is often to bring the knees outside of the arms. Okay, so if this is your first time doing it, maybe try this version. Shift your weight forward into your hands, squeeze your knees in against your arms. Keep the hips lifted, draw the belly in. And maybe float one foot off, and then we change sides. Maybe lean forward more, tilt forward. If you tilt forward enough, you will float both feet off the ground. Okay, press down into your fingers and slowly lower the feet down onto the ground. Come back into your squat. And we'll try that together twice. Okay, first round, I'll walk you through. We'll lift the right foot off, left foot off. Second round, we try to lift both feet off the ground. Okay, for those of you who have done this many, many times in your life, you, if you want to take any other variations like a crow to hit stand or you want to jump back, go ahead and do that. Okay, otherwise, if it's your first few times, follow my pace. Okay, spread the fingers wide, open up the fingers, lift the heels, lift the hips. Keep your knees and your arms touching. Okay, so they should always be touching. Lean forward, shift the weight into your hands, grip the mat with your fingertips. Draw the belly in, push down into your hands. Then put the right foot off the ground, squeeze your heel to your bum. And maybe lower the right foot off with chin sides. Float the left heel or left foot off the ground, bring your heel to your bum. Draw the belly in, push down into your hands. Then slowly lower both feet down onto the ground and lower the heels down, come back into your squat. Good, take a deep inhale through your nose and slow exhalation out. One more breath, deep inhale and slow exhale. And we'll go for one last try for crow pose. Okay, if you need to stretch out the wrist, go ahead and make big circles with your wrists. And then place your palms down onto the ground, spread the fingers. And last round, inhale, lift the heels. Lift the hips up, maybe this time we tuck the knees behind the triceps. Lean forward, draw the belly in, focus your gaze at one point. Don't move your eyes, look forward. Lean forward, maybe one foot off. Maybe this time transfer more weight off the ground and float both feet off the mat. Okay, if you cannot float the feet off, don't worry. Just keep one foot down onto the ground, that's perfectly fine as well. Hold there for three, keep pushing down with your hands for two. And slowly lower the feet down onto the ground. Good job, well done. And give yourself a pat on the bed. 
Okay, really good. Your hands to your heart centre. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Need to acknowledge that effort. Long exhalation out. Your arm balance is difficult, but very, very fulfilling as well. Okay, once you're ready, place your hands down behind you and sit down onto the mat. Place the soles of your feet on the ground. Bring your hands behind you. Open up the fingers. Press down into your toes. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the chest. Reverse tabletop. Only if your neck feels okay, then you drop the hip back. Otherwise, just look forward. Okay, the focus here is on the shoulders and the front body. So you should be feeling the stretch in the front of your shoulders, the front delts. And maybe the front of your legs as well. The, the uh, hip flexors, the quadriceps. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the hips all the way down to the ground. Straighten up the legs forward. Walk on the hips side to side a few times so you're sitting directly on your sit bones. Pull the toes towards your face. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Lift your chest, lengthen. Exhale, reach as far forward as you can. Don't put your hands down yet. Walk your hands, reach your hands as far forward as you can. Pull the toes up to your face. Some of us might be able to rest the belly on the thighs, but don't put the hands down. Keep reaching your arms forward. Keep reaching your arms forward. Keep reaching your chest forward. Keep reaching your arms forward. Lengthen the spine. On your next inhale, rise all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Lift the chest. Bring your hands behind your lower back. Interlace all ten fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Slide the hands down. Lift the chest. Look up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky again. Lift the chest. Second round, exactly the same thing. Point the toes towards your face. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, reach your arms as far forward as you can. Keep the chest lifted. Don't put the hands down under the ground. I can see you. Keep reaching the arms forward. Don't lower the hands. Keep reaching the arms forward. Belly towards the thighs. Stretch out the hamstrings. Hold for three. Pull the toes towards your face for two. Good. Exhale, lower the hands all the way down. Grab hold onto any parts of the legs that you can hold onto. Okay, some of us will hold the cuffs. Some of us will hold the ankles. Some of us will hold the feet. Some of us will rest all the way down. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are today. The most important thing is how you are feeling in your body. Grab hold onto your legs. If you need to bend your knees, feel free to bend your knees as well. This is perfectly fine. Grab hold onto your feet. So always prioritize your spine before how straight your legs are. Okay, so always flatten your spine first. Create space in your back. And then maybe you eventually can straighten up the legs. Okay, if it feels comfortable for you, feel free to rest your forehead on your shins. Otherwise, just look forward to find space. One more breath. And then next inhale, slowly roll yourselves all the way up. Shift yourself to the front of your mat. Plant the soles of your feet on the ground. Reach your arms forward. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, draw the belly in and slowly roll yourselves all the way down onto your back in three. In two, take your time and lower yourselves all the way down onto the ground. Reach your arms to the sides. Plant the soles of your feet on the ground. Then step your feet as wide as your mat, but keep your knees bent so your knees are still pointing up to the sky. Okay, drop your knees to the right side. So do a few windshield wipers. Wipe Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left side. So it should feel pretty nice on the lower back. And also the, the hips. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the right side. Still breathing. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left side. Nice. Inhale, come back to the center. Root down into your feet. Hip distance apart. Release your arms alongside your body. We'll finish off with one back bend. Okay, so you can either follow me with your arms alongside your body or some of you, if you have real pose in your practice, you can take real pose with the hands underneath your shoulders. Okay, otherwise, just keep your arms alongside your body. Okay, press down into your feet. Inhale, lift the hips, lift your chest. Press down into your big toes. Walk your shoulders underneath your body one at a time for bridge. Interlace your fingers. Then press your hands down onto the ground. Lift the chest, push your chin away from the chest. Squeeze your inner thighs like you are holding a block in between your thighs. Okay, so engage your inner knees. Squeeze the shoulder blades in. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly come back with the same control. Release your hands. 
Lower your hips all the way down. Good. Reach your arms to the sides. Cross your right thigh over. If you can, hook the toes as well. Hook the feet, cross the ankles. Scoot your hips slightly towards the right. And drop your knees towards the left. Keep your knees very close to your body. You can use your left hand to guide your knees down to the ground. Draw the right shoulder onto the mat. Gaze towards the right side. Keep breathing into the side body. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. We change sides. Cross the left thigh over. Scoot the hips towards the right. Maybe hook the ankles. Release your knees towards the right side. Draw the left shoulder down. Gaze towards the left side. Breathe into the spine. Just one more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Release your legs forward. Straighten up the knees. Allow the toes to fall to the sides. Arms alongside your body. Take a deep inhale through your nose. On your exhale, gently close your eyes. Allow your whole body to relax. Let go of your breath. Feel free to stay in your final resting pose for as long as you like to. If you're ready to come out, you can come out anytime. My name is Vera. I'm from Yoga Movement. If you have any comments, feedback or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you on the mat again. Thank you.